Well, it's tomorrow will be 15 years from 9-11-2001, and I'm just going to share my story. Remember that morning like it was yesterday, I'll never forget. I drove for the New York City Transit Authority. I was a bus driver. Picking up my passengers that morning like I always did. And I remember that morning because one of the women that used to sit in front used to talk to me. Very nice woman. Older woman. She had to be really close to retirement age. She had to be almost there. Um, would talk to me every morning. Knowing that I was new on that bus route and young at the time. She was uh, she was always nice to me. Um, I'm driving to that city that morning, and believe it or not, the route I had was called the X3, which actually you came out of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and you drove around the Twin Towers, World Trade Center as you know it, and back into the tunnel. And my first stop out of the tunnel was 63 people getting off walking across the street and going into those towers. But for that day, I, I just remember, I actually still remember what she had on. She had on her regular big glasses. She had a long gold chain, you know, costume jewelry, a red blazer, with a black, a black, you know, a black sk uh, skirt. Um, yeah, um, so anyway, I did my job, went around the trade center, back into the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. Now I'm driving, like I did tons of days before, and uh, I get out of the tunnel, and I see a uh, police officer waving me down. Now I'm thinking, thinking, oh shit, I'm speeding through the tunnel, I'm getting a ticket. I said, I'm that he's... That's, there's no other reason why he'd be waving me down. Because at the time they did have cameras in the tunnel. So I pull over and the uh, the officer, the tunnel officer gets on and he goes, did you see what happened? You were one of the last buses to get into the tunnel. I said no. Um, he said, it looks like a, a little plane hit the trade center. And I was like, no, I didn't see it. So he goes, all right, all right. I, I got to see what's going on. Okay. He gets off. I continue to go. I'm on what's called a, the Gowanus. It actually is running back to Staten Island. It's a road where it's on the water so you can still see Manhattan. So as I'm driving, I'm turning my head like this. And I see smoke and everything. And on the radio that we had, all we hear is small plane hits trade center. Um, so now I get over to Verrazano Bridge. Now the radio is totally dead on the radio. On the radio in the bus, I'm not getting any communication. So I get back to the depot. That's when we see another plane hit. Bam! That's when we knew we were under attack. Uh, not a good day. We still had operators that were still in the city, people that were unaccounted for. Um, yeah, it was just, uh, I remember the sky that day. The sky was a crisp blue, deep blue. Um, so anyway, wound up we were attacked. Uh, the next day, I go into work. And now I don't have a bus route because that was my bus route. And obviously, you can't do it anymore. It doesn't exist. There's, there's no trade center. How are you going to drop people off? So, um, I, what I wound up doing is I got on to, they asked for volunteers to bring firemen and stay there, you know, with the bus. So, I wound up going to rescue five which actually lost a lot of firemen that day and I picked up a bus load 
I, I remember these guys the way they looked. That I'd never seen eyes so red and just the 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 exhaustion on their faces and the exhaustion and the horror that they've seen and the brothers that they've lost. Um, proceeded to take them into Manhattan that day. I parked by Battery Park. Had the air conditioner on all day. Um, had uh, God, what was coming in my bus? I had firemen. I had police officers. I had, believe it or not, there was military there too that got there quick. They were, you know. So I was like a way station where they could come on, sleep, because we had the, uh, it was an express bus, so they had soft seats. Guys were just passing out. Um, it, it wasn't a good day, so, you know, well, that's why when I see these guys in the NFL kneeling because of a national anthem, I mean, that's, that's not America. Then you don't to protest police officers. Do that on your own time. You don't pr you don't protest a, a, a flag, which I think is terrible. That doesn't represent one part of our society. Re it represents all of us. And uh, just sit down and think of 9/11 and how lucky you are to be with your family members. Because I know of a lot of people that don't have that, and uh, it's sad. Alright, thanks for my little rant, and uh, never forget.